Governors of Indiana, Kentucky, and Illinois have all announced now businesses deemed non-essential must close due to the spread of COVID-19 and dangers to public safety. Eyewitness News Grace Haba has a closer look on which businesses can keep their doors open and which ones cannot. The governors of Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky all taking a stand against the spread of COVID-19. Indiana and Illinois residents now under a stay-at-home order except for essential travel, which now has many people here in the tri-state asking which businesses are essential and which ones aren't. We know one infected person infects two, and those two infect two more, and so on and so on. Under new orders, non-essential businesses in Indiana, Illinois, and Kentucky are required to close for the time being. We hope that business owners and managers of businesses do the right thing. Uh, do the right thing not only by their employees, but for the greater good, and that's strong public health. Some businesses deemed essential include grocery stores, hospitals and doctor's offices, pharmacies, and manufacturing and distribution facilities non-essential businesses like hair salons, retail with no curbside pickup option, movie theaters, and gyms will all have to close their doors to potential customers. For those that work at essential businesses, our members, just like everybody else, um, are nervous and scared. The spread of COVID-19 has led to longer hours. In order to um, have the food and supplies that we all need to make sure that our families are taken care of, it's important that um, our members continue to make the food um, that you feed your family and to be able to sell it to you at your local grocery store. According to Governor Holcomb's office, Indiana residents who feel they are still being called in to work for a non-essential business should discuss the issue with their employer. But the order will be enforced by Indiana State Police and local law enforcement. Restaurants who break the order are at risk of losing their liquor license. It is nothing short of heroic um, what our members are doing to help get this country through this crisis. The stay at home order for Indiana is set to end Monday, April 6th, but could be extended if the outbreak warrants it. Reporting in Evansville, Grace Haba, Eyewitness News.